back to another video guys. Today we're doing a super cool install video, like always. Huge, huge thank you to Leather Pros for sponsoring today's video. Huge shout out. I got the first bag on. I wanted to just do it before we got on camera. And uh, we'll do the second one. We'll do the install for you guys on video, show you guys how to install everything. And I'll go over a few little things that I went through trying to put that on right now. Um, but here's the bag. Well, here's the box. This is the box that everything comes in. Super sturdy box. Um, no fancy, you know, uh, wrapping or anything like that, but here's the bag. Super cool. These bags are freaking awesome. Um, these bags, let's just talk about the bags before we put them on real quick. These bags are actually going to give you about 25% more space than you would, let's say, on a bagger from a Road King or a Road Glide or Street Glide um, because of the fact that they do extend out. Once we put this on, I'll show you guys how far they extend out. And we'll try to put a few things in there, show you guys what they fit and everything. But the design, super cool, super clean. Materials, everything feels like it's high quality stuff. Obviously, with that nice quality leather on top. Now towards the back is where things get really special because it has the mechanism here where you have these two holes that uh, sit on the, on, the, on the brackets that you put on your plates on the side of your uh, fender. Um, and then you press this button here and you're able to release it. Um, well, this is how you're gonna lock everything in or lock it out. There we go, unlocked. So you put this up. This is where you're gonna put the bag on. You close the clamp down and once you hear a click, it's like that hard click. That's when you know everything's gonna be locked in. Bags are not gonna, not gonna go anywhere. And then this little device right here, which I could have lifted right now, is because it comes with a key inside for you to lock. So whenever you walk away from your bike, you just lock it up, walk away, and um, don't worry about anybody stealing your cool little uh, leather pros away. Um, the materials in the back are a very hard shell, by the way. Um, and it does come with this platform in the back, because I know people are gonna be asking, oh, well, they, you know, sit kind of low. They're gonna rub against the tire. No, so this, everything keeps everything really sturdy. It's not gonna allow the bags to rub against the tire, your bike or anything like that. We'll show you guys some close-up shots afterwards and how everything works. Um, but let's get on with the install. I already went ahead and I took off the screws. Now, what you're gonna wanna do next is take off that back plate that the bike comes with because you're not gonna need it at all. And it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. So you're gonna have to take it off. So this, you're not gonna need. By the way, we do have a guest here today. Wanna say hi to the camera, Jerry? Hi guys, it's me, Jerry. Hey. <laughs> um, all right, so what you gotta know is that you're not gonna need the plate. Um, Leather Pros also is gonna provide you with different screws depending on the type of setup you have in your bike. So for this, we're gonna use the two and a half inch screws that they provided for us here. Not the three inch, because the three inch is gonna be if you uh, have like a sissy bar in the back or a backrest for you to need extra space. Um, so those are outside. I put them outside there somewhere. So we'll start with this. They provide the washers, not the washers, well yeah, the, the washers and the nuts. So you're gonna need two nuts, which they provide. The two chrome little washers, which they provide. And we also got this cool sticker, which we're gonna add on to the sticker wall. Now, first things first, what you wanna do is take your screw Take your big spacer right here. Show you guys a nice close-up shot of what everything is supposed to look like. So you got your screw, your spacer, which goes just like that. And then this little chrome little spacer thing, which goes right here. Now what you're gonna need, which they didn't come with, but you're gonna need washers. Just make sure you have two, wa well, four washers because you need two on each side because you're gonna have to <clears throat> put in the screw, uh, the bolts through these bigger holes. And the nut that they provide is kind of like it's not gonna slip right through, but it's like, yeah, it can only slip through it. So you put a washer on it, just like this, for example, and then the nut, and that's not gonna, you know, allow the nut to pass by. Um, so that's gonna go on the back part of the fender, on the inside, not the back part. Are you happy with my review so far, Jerry? Would you like to comment on anything? Good. Good. Um, obviously, if you're gonna use these bags, Jerry's brought up a good point. You're gonna have to remove your blinkers. I already have mine removed just because I like that clean look in the back. So you're gonna wanna get yourself a nice little light in the back, which has indicators of where you're going. So whether it be Moons MC or Custom Dynamics, your choice, your life. Before I forget, we're gonna add some Loctite. You definitely need some Loctite because the last thing you need is for you to lose a bag on the way, which a friend of mine did. 
BK Low, did you lose a bag on the road and you never recovered? Yeah, well, shout out to BK Low, man. Um, we're gonna put this in, put the washer, and now put your nets. All right, we're gonna hand tighten that a bit. Now for the hole in the front, you're really not gonna need that back plate washer because the hole here is actually a bit more narrower, so you're just gonna need the nets. So we're gonna put some thread on there as well. And tighten that up with your hands first, and then we'll tighten everything up. And um, you're like pretty almost done. I already did the hard part for you guys, which was trying to figure everything out. So you're welcome. All right, so you wanna take your wrench in the back, guys. Hold that nut back there. Hold that nut. Then we're gonna go ahead and start tightening things up. up. God damn it, both sides. Now don't go crazy and tighten everything up 100% because you're gonna need, uh, wanna give yourself some space for the front to play around and move around easily. Grab your wrench again, hold that nut in the back, and start tighten everything up. And ugh, we're pretty much done. Now once again, I wanna show you guys the two holes that are gonna strap on. So it's gonna be that one, and it's gonna be this one. You first wanna lift this all the way up, so it clears all those holes out. And then what we're gonna do is just put them in place, Just like that, and there we go. That's that click. Ta-da! And we're done. That was awesome. That looks awesome. Let's get some B-roll shots in. So now that we have the bag on, let's talk about everything that the bag has and is able to do. So let's start from the outside. You're gonna have the small pocket here on the outside, which is very spacious. You can fit a few things in there, right? And then we're gonna go to the top. We're gonna unbutton it so it comes with uh, two buttons, which are really hard to take off. That comes off. Unzipper it. Show you guys how space you have so it opens up this much right and then right on top we're gonna have another zipper to stretch out so in case if you're on a long trip for the weekend or you're going somewhere you're gonna go to the supermarket and you want to fit all your groceries in and you'll also be able to do that and I'll show you guys a comparison of how the stretch out look looks compared to uh, the regular look if that makes any sense Let's try to put something in here. Let's try to put a helmet. See my helmet will fit? Let's try. It might fit. So you can put a helmet in there, right? You can get a full face helmet. Yeah, if you can put, if you get a full face helmet, it's a, it's a plus. It's a plus. Let's turn the helmet sideways. You got a full face helmet in here, man. That's sick. There we go. So you're able to put a full face helmet, just tilts it sideways and it and it fits, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. So you, even if you go somewhere, you got your full face helmet on, put it in your bag. Um, let's show you guys how it looks from behind with the stretch look and then the normal size look. All right, so here, as you can see, you've got the full stretched out bag here with that helmet in there, that full face helmet. And then this is just the regular size without stretching it out. So big difference, as you can see. This is awesome, man. This is, this is awesome. That's pretty cool. 
Damn, I'm happy with this shit. Let's open this bag up just to show you guys that the helmet is still in there. You're gonna be like, oh, well, where's the helmet at? Let's see you put it in. It's in there, pal. One thing I also do gotta mention, um, the materials. Everything is like really, really, really premium. Um, the zippers are like good, high quality zippers. You know, we're, you know, really worry about some zippers that are gonna snap on you or break off or anything like that. Um, even the nylon material in this bag is like really good. It's like well made, made in the USA, US of A, so even better. And there you have it, my friends. Sliding into your DM. Pause. <laughs> all right, um, old school Jerry, what do you think about the bags? You know, all right, before you answer that question, this is coming from a guy who has a street glide and you've had a road glide before. Yes. So, what do you think about the bags when it comes to the looks, first of all? No, they look really nice. I like the leather on top and I like the nylon, the heavy nylon. I really like this support and the quick detach where you can lock it and unlock it. And yeah. If you go on a trip, you could just pop it off and take it into your hotel room. Matter of fact, before you go any further, let's show you guys how to how quickly it is to detach the bags, right? So we're gonna reach in, we're gonna pull on that tab, pull up, That's and it. you're out. Awesome thing about this is that you can literally show up at a hotel or something if you're out for the weekend or whatever road you're on and you just don't want to leave your stuff behind. You could just take these bags, like I just did, take them right off and walk away and not worry about anything, which is a plus. Um, what do you think about the space? Oh, I think it's great. I mean, to put a, to get a full face helmet in here. <laughs> I can't get a full face helmet in any of my bags. I know. Not even a three quarter helmet in any of my bags. Yeah, on your street glide. With, yeah, with and even bags. with a chopped tour pack, I can't fit anything. Yeah, this is awesome. This is, it's really awesome. These are uh, leather pros, use the man. I the on my Road King. Quality feels great. Yeah. Um, guys, this is my honest review. If I didn't like anything, you would know. I would let you know right away. Um, I give these 10 stars out of 10. Awesome stuff. I can't wait to take them on the road. We, we gotta, we gotta do some, some, some real tests. We gotta go out and road trip. go on a road trip or something, or, or we just gotta give it a real test. We gotta see if it fits an actual box of beers in there. My tests are all bags. Um, that's it, man. If you guys are interested in these bags, I'm gonna, gonna be blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna be linking down the link to Leather Pro's website down below. You can check out what they have. Pricing and everything else is gonna be in that description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again for Leather Pro's for sponsoring today's video. I love these bags. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Like always, guys, ride safe. Let the force be with you. Wait, no. Like always, got that. Nah. <laughs> Fuck that up. Like always, guys, ride safe. Nope. Yeah, right safe. I can't why why can't I get my outro together today? Let the force be with you. Oh there you go. Ride safe. And enjoy, and enjoy the, ride. the ride, baby. Peace! Peace.